What is going on guys? Ginger here today for you guys is how to get the max zombie rank um, and by max I mean complete max so that is d dual shotguns on one on shotgun on each side and uh, blue eyes as you guys seen on the thumbnail yeah so first I'm going to tell you guys about the blue eyes how to get that and how the ranking system works within the blue eyes so blue eyes is with Every skull, which is the skull, just the regular skull, the skull with the knife behind it, and the skull with the dual, yeah, with the double shotguns. Um, soon here, my dual shotgun, my rank and my stats will be up there. Uh, that's that was my stats. A game, like it was my stats of when I got the shotgun rank plus another game I played. So it's just maybe a hundred kills off and a couple downs, but uh. Yeah, we'll be coming up here actually very shortly. But uh, the Blue Eyes rank, it's actually, it's consecutive days played. So uh, every 24 hours, if you go on Xbox or whatever you play on, and you play just one zombie match that lasts maybe 10 to 20 minutes, uh, you will earn a tally mark. So if you do that five times in a row, you will earn Blue Eyes. So as you guys see there, that is my rank. Um... Uh, I have a good KD right there. I'll remember my KD is a 160, 170, somewhere between that, which is great. Really good. Anything above a one, or I mean 150 KD, you'll have a lot better chance to get the shotguns. Um. So yeah, if you guys want the knife, you just aren't going for the highest rank. You're just going for a good, like a higher rank, and you guys are just kind of going for the knife. About a 100. 10 120 KD that's it gets you really easy to get the knife so uh yeah if you guys know how to do the KD it's pretty simple it's just your kills divided by your downs and your downs is the uh boxing glove um so yeah that's my stats now guys again blue eyes is just five consecutive days played and you will get the blue eyes no matter how good you do how bad you do um obviously you want to do good but yes that's how you get it so, um, for this, how I'm, what I'm about to tell you guys is nothing based on the ranking system, which is how I ranked up and what I did and how I feel helped me to rank up. Uh, and I did it. It took me a total of about two weeks, not two weeks of day, game playing time, like day after day after day, including, you know, eating dinner, breakfast, all that stuff, sleeping. Not two weeks straight or nothing like that, so don't get the wrong thought. But, uh, sorry if you hear any background noise. I'm really sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. Um, a good way to rank up, I didn't do it too much. I did it maybe a couple of hours through it. I know I did one full game of doing a glitch. Um, other, I don't really, I don't really do too many glitches, really. I'll maybe go into a glitch every game for like 10 minutes or so, or if I'm going away. Um, as you guys see here, this is one way to get into a buried glitch. You get right into the wall, and they'll just crowd out next to you. Takes me a few tries to get in it, but yeah. Going to a glitch um, helps with your KD, which is one of the biggest parts of um, the Black Ops 2 Zombies ranking system. So, as you guys see here, it's round 14. The background gameplay is nothing big. Just a couple games recording. Uh, we actually got to round 40, but you guys will just see a couple of rounds. I have all seven... Uh, yeah, all seven perks on Buried, and I uh, got them, yeah, for Buried though, if you want to be a really phenomenal player, just a real tip, quick tip, if you have all your seven perks by round, by round eight, you're, you're pretty set, let's just say that, but, uh, yeah, so, zombie ranking system, just get a high KD, that's one of the biggest things, so, Try to go for a thousand kills with a one with three or less downs. That's three hundred KD. It will keep going higher and higher, and that eventually makes it so if you have a bad game, you get like five hundred kills with three downs, or maybe five hundred kills with seven downs or something. You had just had a bad game, got into the wrong positions at the wrong time. You will have all those other games that you did good will make it kind of even out. So, like I said before, you want to. Try to go for like a hundred or over KD, and uh, it'll be very easy to get these higher ranks. Um, for me, how I did it, 
Um, I played a lot, a lot of town. I got the skull, stuff like that. Um, another way to do it is I switched different maps. Um, playing it like, blah. like for example, play one map five times, not in a row or nothing, just like maybe day after day, just play it like five times total and then go to a different map and play it a couple of times. For me, I did, uh, I played Town, 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 and then I switched to Buried for two games, and I got the knife. And I played Buried, 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 and I switched to Mob of the Dead, went into a Buried game, got two kills, backed out, and I got the Skull. I mean, I got the shotguns. So play different maps, get a high KD, go into some glitches if you got to, and you should get the you should get the high zombie rank fairly easy. Uh, glitches, you don't really need a glitch. Like I said, I only did it for one game. And, uh, I didn't even get that far. I only got to round 30. But, uh, yeah. That's about it, guys. So, hope to, hopefully I see you some more of you guys out there with some shotgun and knife ranks. Be really sweet. If you guys do get that or whatever, leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more COD, Go COD Black Ops 2 and some GTA 5 content. And, also, guys, if you guys want any help or you need some money in your bank on Buried, uh, send me a message. GT is I'm Beast Ginger. And uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Peace out.